Hi, I'm Art Kiesel. Thanks for tuning in for the sample clip of the JVBD Academy. Today's topic, cross-selling. That's right, adding additional services to our current clients. Let's start out with a definition. The definition of cross-selling in my book is this, identifying opportunities to help your clients with additional consulting and services that will benefit them. Hmm, that doesn't sound like selling at all. That sounds like serving. That sounds like being a proactive, trusted advisor. And in fact, we do need to call it cross-serving because that's really what we're doing. In cross-selling is we are serving. We are sitting down with our clients to identify their needs, wants, pains, and fears, and see if there's something that we can do about those, whether they might be additional services from us or from someone we can refer them to. Essentially, we are helping them with their problems. Let's look at cross-serving from another perspective. And in terms of a macro perspective, in our profession today, 91% of the growth that has come in our profession since 2010 has come from advisory services. And many of those services were cross-sold or cross-served into our existing accounts. And that's because those clients started as uh, compliance clients, tax clients, audit clients, uh, financial statement work, those kinds of things. And over the past couple of years, as our firms have added new services, we've extended those services to our high value existing clients. And so you can see that a lot of the growth in our firms and in our profession at large is coming from non-traditional sources, is coming from business valuations, cost segregation study, state and local tax assessments. Those kinds of things are what fueling the growth in our firms. Now, let me give you this little quiz. What percentage of your top line growth can come from cross-serving if you're doing it diligently? Is it 5%, 15%, 25, 33, or 50% or more? Think about that for just a second. I'll tell you a story about a client of mine in the Pacific Northwest who would answer that question with 100%. That's right, 100% of the growth in his practice is coming from cross-serving. But for you, as you're going down your path of growth in your firm, I would think that you need to set your sights on 33 to 50%. That's right, a third to a half of your growth within your client base can and should be coming from additional services that you are extending to your current clients. Another concept is it relates to uh, why cross-serving is so important today, is the concept of the magic five. And if you look at the concept of the magic five, you'll see that basically it takes a look at client retention rates over the course of five years based on the number of services that you provide. And if you provide one or two services, the client retention rate over the course of five years is actually pretty low. Think about those tax return only clients that come and go uh, or those audit only clients that come and go. Those are the ones that leave as soon as you try to raise the fee. Um, or when you make a simple mistake, uh, those are the ones that are kind of fickle. But when you take a client like that and you add additional advisory services, let's say they built a new building and you did a cost sex study for them, resulting in real value and tax savings and cash flow. Or say that you've got a closely held business owner who's thinking about succession to the next generation and you help them with that process over the course of many years. Or you've got a client uh, who uh, has a stake in a, in a business, they sell that and you will help them to invest those assets and create a strong estate plan for them and their family. Now, when you talk about all of those additional services for an existing client, you've basically got a client for life. And you've got a client for life for two reasons. Number one, it's because they're stuck to you, because they love what you're doing for them. You're providing so much value. Number two, it's because you're very hard to replace at this point. You've got multiple services, you've got multiple relationships, and to help to have them find a new firm to do all that is gonna be a really hard search, so they don't wanna leave. Finally, two other points, right? Cross-serving, happy clients. They are interested in additional services from you. That's right, a, a client that would rate you a nine or a 10, there's a 79% chance they'd be interested in additional services from you. But at the same time, that same client that likes you and would like additional services from you doesn't know what you do. 
So only 31% of your current clients that want additional services really know what you do. So there's an educational opportunity for you as well. The case study I promised, my client in the Pacific Northwest, specialty, closely held businesses, specialty, manufacturing. Let's take a look at his client book of business. 2015, 1.1 million. 2016, 1.21 million. 2017, 1.34 million, and his goal for 2018 is a whopping 1.5 million. And I tell you this, he did this all from within his current client base. That's right. Since 2015, he has not brought on a new client. All he has done is focused in on developing meaningful, powerful relationships with his clients, asking about their needs, wants, pains, and fears, and delivering advisory services and advice and referrals to people that could help that client. And I, I'm guessing right now he's got some clients for life in this population of clients that he's serving today. If you liked what you just saw, that is just a tiny little sample of what a JVBD Academy is all about. So take a look at my website, kieselconsulting.com forward slash JVBD Academy, or give me a ring, 312-208-8774. Either way, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks and take care.